Yeah, this isn't like a blizzard maybe we had in 2019, 2018, where you had to get back to work and it messed up your plans for the rest of the week. People are a bit more flexible now. Also, a lot of travelers have been putting off these trips for most of the pandemic. Our, our travel numbers, more than 13 million people screened by TSA a week um, ending, ending yesterday on Sunday. That's almost double from a year ago. It's still a little bit below, about 15% below pre-pandemic levels, but a lot of people put off those trips last year and are, are, seem to be pretty happy to do so. But same time, tens of thousands of people stranded, having their travel uh, plans disrupted is not what airlines need right now. So what is the big problem, Leslie? Is it just Omicron and, and the high, high number of people calling out sick? There is some weather, but what we've heard from a variety of airlines, Delta, American, Alaska, JetBlue, um, that Omicron is affecting their crews. The crews have to stay out, of course, with quarantine. The airlines are pushing the CDC to lower their recommendations uh, for quarantine to five days from 10. Um, they want people to get back to work if they're having breakthrough cases. That's if they're fully vaccinated, boosted. Um, so that is something, the same way that COVID cases have gone up. They affect airline crews as well, and, and you need people, of course, to fly the plane. Ha, ha, Leslie, have these stocks been hit hard by Omicron as if, uh, as if this was going to be an issue that would really derail their earnings over the next couple of months? Or, or in fact, have the stocks been a little bit more resilient uh, and, and kind of looking through to the other side? They have been, and we even saw the, the stocks come off the lows today. I think with the initial shock of, oh, no, airlines are at it again. We saw those mass cancellations over the summer. Uh, into the fall. Um, but it does seem like it will get a little bit better throughout the week. Airlines are, are throwing money at the problem and, and giving uh, cabin crews, flight um, pilots, extra money if they pick up shifts and kind of stabilize the operation a little bit. Um, but we did see uh, stocks drop a lot when Omicron came out and, and was detected after Thanksgiving. Uh, lots of concerns about the international travel that was just starting to get going again. You know, U.S. lifted those rules in November, um, then having to pull a little bit back, uh, travel restrictions all over the world. And what we've heard from airline executives is that it is the international side that is largely uh, affected by this. Um, but a problem for the airlines is they're going into a lull. There's a lot of questions still about business travel, which has been creeping back. But, you know, will, will businesses continue to push back their return to office and then maybe put some limits on uh, business travel, at least for the next few weeks? Um, but the outlook for 2022 is supposed to be pretty good. You know, lots of trips were caught up um, over the last two years, uh, both business and leisure. And, and those are supposed to come back in a really big way. And, and just quickly on the cancellations, what about passengers? Are they getting full refunds? credit? How, how are the airlines handling that? So if a if airline cancels your flight, you are entitled to a cash refund, ask for a cash refund. Um, and passengers are, as far as we know, getting those. If you're not getting those, you should ask the airline. Um, other things that airlines are doing, um, trying to rebook as many travelers as possible, put them on other planes so that they have options. But one thing that they do have in their corner is that travelers might be a little bit more flexible this year than they would be in a a narrow when they're, they're not allowed to work remotely as much as they are now.